It is yet another glorious uh, rainy day here. But I've got some good news. I guess it's good news. I'm going to get another car from my brother Ryan. Um, I think you guys are going to like it. Unfortunately, you know, you won't like it that much. Oh yeah, i got to grab a battery first before I head over. Um, so I'll see you there. Well, here it is, folks. Hi, doggy. How are you? This is Merlin. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a sexy looking car, other than, obviously, it's got the typical Subaru issues. Um, you know, that wheel well. It's a little crusty all over, unfortunately, so, I don't know, I'd love to make it into a project, but it needs a lot. Um... Just every, you know, every place that Subaru likes to rust and the trunk's been a little bit tweaked. I actually gave him that tail light because um, it needed to be replaced. Um, but it is a 2.5 RS. Unfortunately, it's an auto, which that's the first major hit for this car to me, other than maybe that major hit. And then, ta-da! Unfortunately, um, he took the engine out to use it in like one of his Outbacks, I think. Um, so that's why in a way it would make a perfect project because an H6 just wants to go in there. But the car itself is pretty rough. rough. You can also see that uh, this radiator support is not quite perfect. You know, it had a little shunt in the front end. Um, so everything's fixable. I could just throw an H6 in it and run the crap out of it, but I may see if somebody wants to buy it as a shell. I may part it out. I, I don't know. So I need your guys' help deciding what to do with this GC6 right there. Um, let me know what you think, but uh, obviously since it doesn't run, we're going to have to tow it home, and that's the adventure for this video. I'm going to go find my brother. Uh, you got to love those gauges though, right? Like I said, too bad this is the auto pack. I don't know how much of a difference it makes, but... Hmm. Anyway, I'm getting set up to uh, take video here when we do go down the road, but I gotta put a battery in and try to tie the AC compressor somewhere. All right, I got the battery hooked up. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I gotta tighten those down real quick, but that's the issue compressor. I got some ropes, so I'm probably gonna tie it mm, maybe to those brackets on the transmission or something. Because uh, I can't come flying off while we're going down the road. Um, this should stay here. Especially once I get the ties in and this will be in the way anyway. Yep, yep, almost ready. We're hooked up. This is going to be an adventure. Good? Should be. Seat belts. It's in neutral, the e brakes off. Oh, listen to those brakes, crunchy, crunchy. A windshield wiper, but it's the wrong one. So going downhill, you gotta kind of hold on the brakes here. On the straights, try to uh, leave all the slack up the hills. You obviously don't touch the brakes. It's really the downhills that are the scary part, and stopping for him to slow down. I'd really rather not crack up this front bumper or hood, or more importantly, my brother's car. It's hard to tell when he's slowing. And windshield's fogging up too.
Jesus. <laughs> oh, we lost the toe strap. All right. Got the toe strap back together. The hook came off. I have a somewhat working windshield wiper. So we'll see. Off to the races. Sucks too because we're taking the long way to get to my place, but it's also the way that has less uh, hills, believe it or not. wiper. <laughs> I 
came right off. Well, the view from here on out isn't going to be the best, boys, but I'll just try to keep you updated. Long downhill, hard on the brakes. Hard on the brakes. Hard on the brakes. Slow, easy, easy! <laughs> uh, yeah, go slow. Yeah, you're starting to get there. Keep going, girl. Yep. I guess anywhere is kind of fine for now. We'll have to move it around. Oh. Alright. That was fucking interesting. I'm gonna roll this up. At least the windows work. I really like the interior in these cars. This black checker. Those are one of my favorite Subaru interiors. Lights off. Keep it neutral. Alright, Ryan's leaving. He's gotta grab me to bring me back to my car. What's that? That is a good color. Yeah. But yeah, you can see it got filthy. Yeah, I was just telling him, like, this is probably the most desirable color for these cars. But, um,. You know, it's got issues. Eh, eh, we'll see. So now that this thing's home, I figure I should uh, give it a quick washing because all this filth. So, uh, yeah, just wearing some gloves to take off the chill, and uh, these hoses are kind of nasty. Here we go.
Well, I think I'm going to call it there for today. Michelle is home. Not 100% sure what I'm going to do with it yet. The main three options are one, part it out, two, sell it, three, um, put the H6 from the Outback over there, you can see in my one uh, H6 revving video, into this as a project. So I want you guys to vote, not like official vote, just tell me in the comments what do you want me to do with this thing. Um, I also just realized this is kind of funny, but I now own the last year of the GC Impreza as well as the first year of the GC Impreza. I just thought that was kind of funny. Like I have like the, the newest one with the highest spec, the 2.5 RS, and I have the oldest one with the uh, lower spec, the, uh, the uh, L model. So anyway, I hope this was fun for you. It was quite an interesting ride for me. The car looks great from far away, unfortunately. A lot of issues, but uh, still pretty cool. So thanks a lot, folks. See you in the next daily upload.